There's something about 1960s and early 1970s era muscle cars showing up in Hollywood films that lends a movie that extra mile of cool that lights up the screen. Whether the car is parked or performing those intense action and chase scenes that we can't seem to get enough of. In this video, we feature 10 of the best movies from the last 50 plus years that feature two or more of the baddest ground pounding muscle cars that ever emerged from the Motor City. So grab some popcorn, strap in, and hang on for... At number 10 is this Michael Bay-directed thrash, smash, and crash fest, with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence reprising their roles as Miami's bad boy detectives. In the first of four epic car chase scenes in this movie, a group of gangster-driven muscle cars tenaciously pursues an undercover DEA agent to rob her of some illicit cash. Starting off at the top of a parking garage and viciously chasing after the agent's SUV, the gang takes the action to the streets of Miami where the bullets fly and the road carnage piles up. There are no less than five vintage muscle cars in the pursuing pack that end up in a pileup at an intersection when the chase scene finally grinds to a temporary halt. There's a 1968 Chevy 2 Nova, a 1970 Dodge Super B, a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle SS, a 1967 Pontiac Firebird, and a 1979 supercharged Pontiac Trans Am. At Close Range is a dark crime drama from 1986 starring Sean Penn and the enigmatic and iconic Christopher Walken and takes the number nine spot on our list. In the movie, they portray father and son criminals specializing in farm equipment thefts in Pennsylvania. While not much of a role model as a father, Walken's character does have superb taste in choice muscle cars. There's this sweet 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 with rally wheels, black stripes, and the deluxe interior option. Later on, he rolls up in this spiffy 1971 Olds Cutlass convertible with the super stock three wheels, a 442 W30 hood, and rear deck spoiler. Being the generous criminal that he is, he gifts his son with this green 1970 Chevelle SS 454 with rally wheels and black stripes and without, sadly, the optional cowl induction hood. At number eight, this 1993 coming of age comedy follows different groups of Austin, Texas teenagers during the last day of school in 1976. It stars Matthew McConaughey in his first breakout role as David Wooderson, a 20 something year old whose ride of choice is a black LS5 powered 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS 454. It seems to be the real deal and not a fake movie clone hack with its cowl induction hood, SS stripes, and 14 inch SS wheels, a natty whip for 1976. 1970 was well represented in this film as we see with this orange 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge with a black vinyl roof whose occupants inflict vandalistic hurt on some neighborhood trash cans and mailboxes. There are a few other era appropriate muscle cars that also show up in the film. Like this 1973 Primer Gray Plymouth Duster, a 74 Trans Am with a Super Duty 455 engine, and a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Here at number seven is the fourth film in the franchise, Fast and Furious. The movie includes a nice representation of muscle cars, mostly from the early 1970s. The film stars Paul Walker as FBI agent Brian O'Connor and Vin Diesel as Dom Toretto, who team up to apprehend and settle Dom's grudge against a drug lord. As the name implies, the action is fast and furious with liberal splurges of chase scenes, vehicular mayhem, and explosions, explosions, explosions. As for the muscle cars, there was a supercharged Dodge Charger, a 1972 Ford Torino Sport, a 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS 454, and this 1970 twin turbo F-bomb dirt wheel standing Camaro. There was also this 1987 Buick Grand National, 
of which seven were built for the film's production, with one of them having its body reverse mounted onto its frame so it could appear to drive backwards at high speed. Arriving at number six is this 1971 classic road movie starring musicians James Taylor and Beach Boy Dennis Wilson as traveling street racers. Although the duo's 1955 big block Chevy is more of a hot rod than a muscle car that gets plenty of screen time, there are lots of other muscle cars that appear in the film as well. The main one is this 1970 GTO, driven by actor Warren Oates, whose character is aptly named GTO. It appears to be a judge version of the GTO with the appropriate fender stripes and rear spoiler, but is missing the judge badges, with some speculating that this car was a regular GTO dressed up as a judge. The film also provides us glimpses of some other muscle cars like this 1969 Dodge Daytona, a 1970 El Camino SS, a 1968 Dodge Coronet, and this 1970 Hemi Cuda. At a respectable number five is Too Fast, Too Furious, the second film in the Fast and Furious franchise. It's like a video game came to life with all the impossible stunts and physics-defying action performed by souped-up cars of all different types, from tuner cars to muscle cars. Luckily in this film, we get treated to the significant screen time given to a Hemi Orange 1970 Dodge Challenger RT with a black bumblebee stripe and vinyl roof and a blue 1969 Yenko Camaro. The cars are clones and not factory original, but as clones, they are spot on. They both go hard in this movie and sadly end up smashed and twisted with the Camaro being spared a watery demise by landing topside on this yacht. At a rock solid number four is the 2010 thriller Faster starring The Rock as former inmate Jimmy Cullen, who's laser focused on settling old scores with some former crime buddies who wronged him. Cullen's ride of choice is a classic American muscle car, the 1970s Chevelle SS LS5 454, because modern cars are boring and Cullen is all about the action. Lovingly shot and edited, the SS sees lots of action throughout the film, whether just traveling to and from soon-to-be crime scenes, or just easing on over to a motel for some well-earned downtime, and even a good old chase scene between the Chevelle and the Assassin's Ferrari. A Pontiac GTO even gets the spotlight in a flashback scene, where we see Cullen and his gang in bank robbery getaway action. At our third spot on our list, is the second John Wick movie that graces us with its stunning visual aesthetics as it plunges us into a world of assassins, blood oaths, and esoteric rules. It also features a couple of pretty cool muscle cars, John Wick's 1969 Mustang Boss 429 and a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. In the opening scenes, the Chevelle gets some screen time as John hammers through the streets of nighttime Manhattan to chase down a sport bike driven by one of the baddies. John reunites with his beloved Boss 429 when he attempts to get away from and inflict Armageddon upon a fleet of taxicabs driven by Russian mobster henchmen. The action and cinematography are glorious as it chronicles the Mustang's demise into a pile of mangled, disfigured debris. The filmmakers took some liberty with the Mustang as it isn't an actual Boss 429 or even an accurate depiction of one. Still a great movie though. Coming in at number two, Death Proof is Quentin Tarantino's homage to high intensity 1970s car chase flicks, replete with deliberate errors, film scratches, and blemishes for that authentic schlock B-movie look. The movie is split between long conversations amongst groups of women and some very wicked car action scenes. The first is with stuntman Mike, played by Kurt Russell, terrorizing a group of friends in his death-proof modified 1970 Chevrolet Nova stunt car that wreaks road havoc all over the screen. Later, stuntman Mike reappears in a 1969 Dodge Charger 
to have a go at a 1971 Dodge Challenger in a long, over-the-top chase sequence that absolutely annihilates both cars along the way. The entire chase scene, including the Charger and Challenger, are tributes to those and other movies we all know and love. In the 54 years since its release, this movie still reigns supreme as the originator, innovator, and progenitor of the modern chase scene movie. It's only icing on top of the gearhead cake that the two cars in the chase scene through the streets of 1960s era San Francisco are also muscle car legends. The chase involves Lieutenant Frank Bullitt's 1968 Ford Mustang GT390 and the Hitman's 1968 Charger RT440 through the hilly streets of the city by the bay, and also along the Guadalupe Canyon Parkway just south of the city limits. The chase is consistently voted as the best chase scene ever filmed, and cemented McQueen as the patron saint of motoring cool from that era. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to show your support for our content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel.